Picking back up with problem number five, uh, which we did in the last video, we're going to approach this same problem, the exact same problem, but solve it with the Chinese remainder theorem. Now, the Chinese remainder theorem requires that you have a system of equations already set up, just x alone. x would be congruent to a1 in mod n sub 1. Uh, a2 and mod n sub 2 and so forth, all the way up to a select number of mods. Uh, remember, capital N sub k would be all of those mods multiplied together except the kth term. So uh, what we're seeing is, of course, is if you've got n sub k, you're going to see that conspicuously absent would be the kth mod. Uh, so if I wanted, for example, to take a look at n sub 1 as we look right here. n sub 1 would be all those mods multiplied together except for the first one, n sub 1. Likewise, n sub 2 would be all of these mods multiplied together except n sub 2, the little n sub 2. And once we have that, once we have all those capital N's uh, that, that we're looking at, we can then set up new congruences to solve. We could say n sub 1, which we found above, times some x value, x sub 1, is congruent to 1 with mod n sub 1. Once you solve that, you'll have an x sub 1 answer. Then we move on to n sub 2, and n sub 2 times some second x value would be congruent to 1 in mod 2, n sub 2. And we'd solve those. So we'd have an x sub 1, x sub 2, all the way up to x sub r. Well, the solution to this simultaneous system of equations then would be right here. It would be a sub 1, n, capital N sub 1, x sub 1, plus a sub 2, n sub 2, x sub 2, plus a sub 3, capital N sub 3, x sub 3, all the way to your r -th term, your final term. And uh, when you multiply that all together, that's going to be your solution in the mod uh, that uh, you'd have multiplied with n sub 1 times n sub 2 all the way up to n sub r. So let's go back right over here and quickly see what is going on with the Chinese remainder theorem. You see, the Chinese remainder theorem says once you get to here, once you have your simultaneous equations. You've got this all right in here. We've got four of them. Uh, we could very quickly see what's going on. We've got uh, a sub 1 is going to be 1. And there's your a sub 1. And by the way, we could take our n sub 1. n sub 1 would be all of our mods except the 2. So it's going to be the 3, the 5, and the 7 multiplied together. And uh, that's going to be 105. And uh, then we're going to set up an equation. n sub 1, x sub 1 is congruent uh, to 1 mod 2. So we've got 105, x sub 1 is congruent to 1 mod 2. Now, as we solve this, Thank goodness, as you look right here, you can see that uh, because mod 2, you know, we're really saying, what do you get when you divide by 2? You're always going to have a remainder of 0 or 1. Uh, I think you can see an odd number would just have a 1. So x sub 1, thankfully, you can solve very fast, is going to just be a 1. Look at that. Well, we can come over here. Here's your a sub 2. a sub 2 is actually going to be 0. What's your n sub 2? Well, your n sub 2 would be all the mods multiplied except for this one, except for the 3. So you've got a mod of 2. You've got a mod of 5 over uh, for this uh, third equation. You've got a mod of 7. So 10 times 7, you'd get 70. So n sub 2 is 70. But then what? Now we have to solve another equation in this mod of 3 right here. So we have 70 x sub 2 is congruent to 1 mod 3. And boy, are we looking out. 70, when you divide by 3, uh, would have a remainder of 1. 
69 is a multiple of 3. 70 is one step higher. Uh, so, wow, would you look at this. All of a sudden, you could say, this is beautiful, this is nice. X sub 2 is just going to be equal to a 1. Well, then we could keep going over here. We could say, well, what's your a sub 3? Well, your a sub 3, you could see right here, is a 4. Right? a sub 3 is a 4. You'd say, what's n sub 3? Well, it's all of your mods multiplied together, except for this particular mod of 5. Uh, you know, it's 2 times 3 times 7. And uh, very quickly, we can see, uh, you know, where we're heading uh, with that. 6 times 7 is 42. And, and then what? We're going to have to solve n sub 3. x sub 3 is congruent to 1 in this particular mod of 5. Uh, you know, that's our, uh, you know, little n sub 3, so to speak. So we've got 42 x sub 3 is congruent to 1 mod 5. And wow, as we're trying to solve this one, well, 42, when you divide by 5, would have a remainder of 2. I think we could all see that very fast, I hope. And uh, now what? Well, you know, personally, I think we could do a number of different things. You can look at the multiples of 5, like 5, uh, 10, and so forth. If I were to multiply both sides by 3, which I certainly may do, you can see that this 6 is really uh, going to have a remainder of 1. With this, we can solve nice and quickly. So what are we really getting at? x sub 3 is going to equal 3. Then we're going to come over here. Look, uh, we've got our last congruence. Our a sub 4 would equal 1. N sub 4 would be all of these mods multiplied together. 2 times 3 times 5. Don't have this last mod of 7 there. Uh, and it doesn't take you too long to see that this is 30. Finally, we've got to solve our N sub 4. X sub 4 is congruent to 1. With this current mod of 7. Well, you're really saying 30. X sub 4 is congruent to 1. And uh, what can we do to solve uh, this one? Well, again, 30, when you divide by 7, you'd have a remainder of 2. 28 is a multiple of 7. This is two steps higher. Uh, you could certainly reduce that nice and quickly. And uh, personally, if you look at the multiples of 7, you know, 7 and 14, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. And the reason, I hope, is pretty obvious. Because 8 is one step higher than 7. This is a 1 right here. So we've got 1x to the 4th is congruent to 4. Wow, you know what? Now you've got your x sub 4 is equal to 4. Well, guys, tell you what. We just did a, a tremendous amount of work. We did a, a, you know, quite a bit of work, honestly. But we just made tremendous headway. We really did. I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. Um, remember what our answer should be. X bar is going to be A1, N1, X1, plus A2, N2, X2, plus A sub 3, N sub 3, X sub 3. Finally, we've got our A sub 4, N sub 4, X sub 4. Well, look at this. We've got our a sub 1, n sub 1, and x sub 1 right here. That's 1 times 105 times a 1. Look over here. a sub 2. Hey, that's beautiful. That's 0. That's going to make our lives easy. Uh, n sub 2, of course, is a 70, and x sub 2 is a 1. It frankly doesn't matter. With a sub 2 being 0, that's gone. a sub 3. Well, you know, look in your third column here. That That's right here. Oopsie daisies, let's bring that back. A sub 3 is just a 4. And N sub 3 we saw was 42. And X sub 3 was actually a 3. Look at that. Finally, A sub 4. Well, that's right here. A sub 4 is a 1. What's N sub 4? N sub 4 is a 30. And X sub 4 is right here. That's a 4. So we could get this thing going, and uh, we're virtually done. We just have to crunch some numbers here. Uh, I think you can see nice and quickly, this is going to be 105. 
canceling this thing out here. Uh, 4 times 1 times 30, that's going to get you 120, right? But then 4 times 42 times 3. Well, my goodness, it, it's only going to take you a moment to do that. Let's see here. I think, I um, believe that's going to get you 504. Okay, 504. So, well, let's finish this up. We're, we're almost done. Get a little bit of space down here. You know, if we were to add up 105, 504, and 120, I hope it's only going to take you a moment to see that you'd get, uh, what is that, 729. That's what X bar is. But our mod, you know, when you multiplied all of your mods together, the 2 times 3 uh, times the 5 times the 7, even from the original problem, that would be, you know, mod 210. Uh, but tell you what, let's just keep subtracting 210. If we subtract 210, let's see, we'd get 519. Uh, subtract 210 again. And we'd get, what's that, 309. Let's subtract 210 one last time. And uh, as you do, you would see that you'd get 99. Guys, that is in fact what you came up with with the other problem. Uh, we saw that it was uh, 99 plus 210, some multiple of that. We could say x would be congruent to 99 mod 210. And that's what we came up with when we solved in that other capacity. So just wanted to let you know about that. Uh, the Chinese remainder theorem is going to work also.